Hi, and welcome to Be Parenting, the buzz around parenting brought to you by Brookline Interactive Group and Brookline Early Education. I'm Vicki Milstein, Principal of Early Education for the Public Schools of Brookline, and I'm here to share something with you about young children. I know that we all live in busy lives, particularly these days. We are scheduled and scheduled and scheduled. We have schedules for parents, the schedules for children, the schedule for the nanny, the schedule for the babysitter. All of life is mixed up in one time block after another. And we do go from soccer practice to ballet classes to a play date that's arranged by the parents and our children move right along with us. We've actually put their lives into fast frames. Actually, children don't work so well that way. And you may have noticed that your own children seem to get a little frustrated or a little unhappy when the day is not progressing just as they had hoped. It may not be the activity quite so much as the pace. And it's nice to take a break now and then and to have a day that's lazy and slow. But even in the midst of a busy day, I'm pretty sure we can cut down on some meltdowns and a few tempers if we just allow for a little more time between scheduled activities. It is particularly lovely for children when they get to lounge around in the house and chat with a parent or another caregiver for a while before they're rushing off to the day. It is equally lovely to be able to spend a little bit of extra time sitting in the bathtub, playing with bath toys. Water has a very calming effect on children. On a day when you're not ready for bath, but it does feel like you need a little time to calm, you might think of filling up the sink with some bubbly dish water and put in a few of those plastic containers that you have. Let your child be the person who's washing and drying and rinsing and doing it all over again. These kinds of activities are very sweet moments. They help a child calm their body, calm their voice, calm their feelings of rushing, and they actually may chat with you a bit more, just talking about the parts of the day that were interesting, or something that might have happened on the way to school or on the playground. See if you can find some moments around bedtime that are sweet and loving and slow so that it isn't a rush to get into bed. If we slow ourselves down as parents, we may be giving children the very best gift of all. Enrichment activities aside, there's nothing like having a loving adult and the time to spend with them.